Yo, what is up, lads and ladies? It's Rambo Six Siege video, and yes, I am doing face cam now. It's like, well, what the fuck are you doing face cam for, Sam? Well, um, yeah, somebody actually just commented and asked. They're like, can you do face cam, Sam? So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I've never genuinely been asked to do it, so um, you know, the fact that someone asked, I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Now, if you guys don't want to see this, because you know my face is fucking hideous. Like, if you guys don't want to see any face cam, let me know. But um, for the moment, yeah, I think I think it'll stay. It'll just be in this corner, maybe move it up to this corner. Not too sure, depending on whatever you guys want. But yeah, thank you guys so much for three and a half thousand subs. I mean, I haven't even made a 3K special, and we're nearing to 4K. So thank you guys so much for that. I mean, it is unbelievable. And yeah, this intro is too long. We'll, we'll get into the video, all right? So let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going to quickly go over pretty much what we know so far, just um, to fill you guys in, especially people who are just clicking on and have no idea about this event. So, um, it's a defend the area. Now, there are two secure areas, so it would be like two secure areas, except they're both called satellites. So, or I think it's all servers lost, so I'll show an image on screen here. All servers lost, satellites captured, so um, I presume, I don't know, servers to do with satellites, I don't know, but it's pretty much secure the area. Now, of course, you, since you can teleport between sites, because all defenders are fitted with bulletproof cameras, which allow them to teleport, and you can teleport between your teammates' cameras and your own, and then you have drones. Now, attacker drones, what they can do is, pretty much they can do the exact same thing, actually, yeah, so um, teleport between each other, and you have two drones, I think, it might only be one, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, it's actually a very interesting idea, and I'm really hyped to see this. So um, yeah, you hack the servers as an attacker, there's not much to it. Now, there's another image here. So it talks about attacker morphing, defender morphing, but it's a 5v5, 3 minute rounds, and it's double secure area, no prep phase. So as you can see this image here on screen, so that tells us all that. And you of course have certain outfits that come with the event. Now there will be alpha packs I can imagine or certain special event packs which will be exclusive to this game mode. So there'll be challenges as well, maybe community challenges I guess, that will be pretty much to get these packs if you don't have the renown or the credits to buy them. So I think that will be really good. Alright so as you can see these are all the character outfits on screen slash the character poses and whatever. But um, yeah, we're just going to go through and test some theories out on pretty much what you can do in this event, like what our limits are, etc. So, let's get into it. Alright, so as you guys know, like I showed in the last few videos, because of Benjamin Strike, I actually have access to the, well, pre-undeveloped version of the new event called Morphus. So, of course, it's the robot event. And I'm going to be testing some theories and questions people have been asking me about what th what you can do interactively, like with Vigil, for example, can you go invisible to drones? And the answer to that is yes. So I'm just testing theories out, etc. So um, yeah, that's the first one done. On the list is well, if I go into my bulletproof camera, which of course you know you teleport around with. Will it kill me when I get destroyed? So the only way I can destroy it currently is by putting on a barricade. But as you can see on screen here, when the barricade gets destroyed, or when the bulletproof camera gets destroyed, I just teleport back to where I opened up the camera. So you're given a second chance. So that is the same with the drone, so I will show footage of it here. But um, pretty much it's the same concept where you do actually come back to life or you get a second chance even if you don't make it to wherever you're supposed to go with your drone, you know. So it's actually a really cool idea, like I really do like Ubisoft pitching in and doing this stuff. So the next question I had was, well, where can we place these drones and cameras and can we actually spawn on them if there's enough room? So sadly with the drones, if you do go under like, I don't know, crack or something, you can go through and teleport yourself, but if you try to get out of the drone, you can't actually spawn in that area if there's not enough room for you. So there's a certain radius around you where you're allowed to spawn. And with the bulletproof cameras, which I'm showing you on screen here, is you can place them on the floor, on the walls, I doubt you can place it on the roof, I haven't tried and I haven't found anywhere where you can, but yeah, just high up on walls and that, and when you spawn on them, you'll spawn the direction they're facing, so if it's on the ground facing upwards, you'll spawn wherever it is facing upwards, of course there's not enough room for you to place it, then you can't spawn on it, but if you place it, then you can definitely spawn on it, and you can go through to your teammates cameras, you can go vice versa and teleport to each other, so this is to help cover both sites, because as you guys know, it is a 5v5 game mode, like I said, but um, there are two secure areas to defend, so you can put cams in both sites and go between the two, that's how you're defending it. 
Yeah, so to answer everyone's questions, if you die with drones, I presume you're gonna get two or one, you know, not gonna get more than now, I don't think, but um, don't count me on that. But um, yeah, either way, I think what's gonna happen is you're just gonna get an extra life. So if your drone gets shot, you'll get put onto your, you'll just get spawned again. I don't know if you, I think you go all the way back to spawn if you're on attack and your drone gets destroyed, and it'll go until all your drones are destroyed. So if you have two drones, you'll get three lives, if that makes sense. Now, with the bulletproof cameras, you only get the one camera, but I'm confused with this because if your teammates have cameras and you die, technically you could spawn on your teammate's camera, right? Or when you lose your camera and you die, do you die forever? So this is a question I can't answer because I don't have enough people on my team to actually test this theory out. So we're going to have to wait till Ubisoft either release this or announce any information about it because a lot of people are asking, when's the release date for this? Now, of course, I have no idea. But since we're receiving so many leaks early and I'm actually playing the pre-access to it, um, I do feel like it will be coming out this season. So Year 5 Season 2, I think it'll be the not the arcade event for the season, but the actual main event for the season. Either that or it'll be next season, but it'll I think it'll be this season the main event. Definitely not an arcade uh, event because it's got quite a lot of effort in it. And they're going to be reworking Tower, so by reworking Tower I mean they're just reskinning it. So they're going to be, it's like with the Mafia event, what they did was they went and skinned everything, moved structures and all that. They're doing the exact same thing with Tower, so I feel like it's going to be a week long event like that Mafia event was, or two week long, however long that was. So um, yeah, that's it for this video guys, hope you guys did enjoy, and yeah, face cam, I mean, if you guys want me up here, which way am I? If you guys want me up here, then, you know, let me know in the comment section below, where if you guys don't want me in the corner, then um... Yeah, comment that as well, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, if you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, and comment down in the comment section below if this video helped you. Now guys, I have a giveaway going on, and yes, it is absolutely amazing, I mean, if you guys want to win R6 creds, it'll be all announced on the 15th of August, but if you want to know how to enter and the rules, etc, it's on screen here, but there's also a link in the description below to my Instagram where you can actually enter the giveaway. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy, like I said, and I'll catch you guys later, stay safe.